There was a couple of weeks where Kellyanne Conway clearly was like, okay, Mr. Trump. You know, she and she probably they probably take him aside and are like, I know that that woman in the wheelchair is a fat bitch and a loser, but when you're president, maybe you can do an IRS audit of her husband's grocery stores. So just hold off on not saying anything now. You know, whatever it was that she was doing, she somehow, by Trump standards, calmed him down a little bit. Then he had the debate. And to his credit, he knew as soon as he walked off of that stage that he had a bad night because that's why he went to the spin room and that's why he's immediately... Lester Holt was very unfair to me. I mean, look, look. People say I should be better than black people. I'm out here saying that they should all be stopped and frisked to protect themselves. And how do I, how do I get repaid? Lester Holt's just rude. I mean, it, 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 look. And I didn't, not once did I say, hey, by the way, Hillary... Bill Clinton got a blowjob. I didn't do that because of Chelsea. So I'm up there like Mother Teresa, and I get destroyed. Unfair, unfair, not right, unfair. So he's been unraveling because of that. And he was at a campaign event in Lancaster, which I believe is in Pennsylvania. Excuse me, Lancaster County, which is in Pennsylvania. Lancaster County in Pennsylvania. And this was supposed to be a, you know, a reorientation speech on the campaign, critique Hillary, it's fine. Takes an interesting track here um, because he obviously wants to get the health angle back out front and center. Let's take a look at Donald Trump campaigning. Yes. This is Donald Trump going after Hillary for supposedly this incredibly serious illness she has, even though the only thing we actually know about their health at the moment was that he could not stop sniffing. Like, if you were sitting next to him in an airplane, you'd be, like, hand sanitizing yourself the whole time. You might even try to jump out of the window. So anyways, Mr. <laughs> had this impression of Hillary's pneumonia. But here's a woman... She's supposed to fight all of these different things. And she can't make it 15 feet to her car. Give me a break. Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a break. She's home resting right now. She's getting ready for her next speech, which is going to be about 15 minutes, and it's going to be in two or three days. I'll tell you what. If you start giving 15-minute speeches, that would be beautiful. Uh, what's You know, I also have to say, though, this is another sad downgrade because he, the wobble was sort of funny. But when he did his classic Rubio drinking a bottle of water material, like, that was inspired. I mean... Donald Trump, people don't remember, is that there was a period in the primary where he was really like, I mean, he's just not been able to overcome the sophomore slump, I would say, from a point of view, from just creative production. Physical he's, impressionist Trump, he had his Rubio moment. Rubio was the classic. Where he that, threw the bottle over Can we his maybe shoulder? find that, actually? Okay, I can look for yeah, it. Yeah, look for the Rubio moment. That was the, be that was the like, when he was like, he goes, he, go he gets a bottle of water. Let me make sure this is closed. <laughs> And he goes, he goes, it's Rubio. <laughs> Just like bites the thing, then throws it all over the front row. And then just like goes, <laughs> tossed it because he's a gangster. He was bringing Gallagher into the fold. Yes. Although I do still, having gone through all of this, like Donald Trump better than Gallagher. The only good thing that ever came out of Gallagher was Dave Chappelle's Black Gallagher. <laughs> um, hey folks, Sam Cedar here. I just got back from a uh, company-wide meeting. Accounting is really coming down on me hard. We need to get to 100,000 subscribers as soon as possible. So uh, please, enjoy this uh, channel. Subscribe. Right up. Right up. Down. Right down there. <laughs>